here she is. There's the 32. There's that hunting I was telling you about. All right, so we have a little transmission problem we're gonna work on today. It doesn't like, oh my goodness, stuff's falling down. It doesn't like to start out in drive. So I've got the, I think I had it. I got the service manual diagnostic procedure. Okay. So we're gonna go through that. It's cold today. radio you can't play okay so we're looking for overdrive that works all right so first thing it says Park vehicle on flat service. Move into park. Well, if you're parked, then it isn't park. Okay. Does the AT check lamp come on for about two seconds? I don't think so. There's no. It's so off. AT check lamp? No, it does not come on. So no, go to a diagnostic procedure one. Okay, that's gonna be an AT66, procedure one. Okay, AT check lamp does not come on for about two seconds when turning ignition on. Correct. Check the volts between AT control unit terminals four. I'm guessing that's a nine. Yeah. Four or nine. Okay, so now we gotta find the control unit. Okay, our automatic transmission control unit is located under here. Now I feel like I've taken apart disease before, but I thought there was like a board or something that goes across this. Oh, apparently not on this one. So we need to pull this out because this is the control unit. I'll bolt it and then uh, test these pins. All these extra wires here. All right, let me get some tools. Looks like we've got a 10 millimeter guy. This carpet is going to get on my nerves. Seriously. I'm going to do with an extra dipstick. I know it's extra because it has one on here. There. And these guys are. And we have one more screw right here. Oh, I see that. That's not the case. It's still hung up. Oh, it's down here. It's behind that one. Taking this out and testing the pins. Okay, let me go get my up here. Take this cover off. Oh my goodness, really? Pull off one side and clips the other. I probably need 
the screwdriver. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's plug this back in. Four and nine, huh? How do I know which one's which? Usually labeled on the connector. As I suspected, we were doing it wrong. So we're checking for power to the unit. And that's gonna be the green um the green wires, green with blue it says. So and this is kind of weird the way these connectors are set up, but four and nine are right next to each other. So let's go in here, we got our ground. We gotta turn the car on. Okay, so 12 volts, yes. Right next to it. 12 volts, yes. Okay, now we can proceed to our next. Let me show you. Disconnect AT control unit connector and check resistance between. Terminals 15 and 48. Okay. So now let's find 15 and 48. So 48 is going to be all the way over here. And then 15 is going to be where? That's going to be right here. Okay, so check resistance. So put this on ohms. Forty-eight was this one. And fifteen is this one. Can we get in there? I really need some better terminal checker thingies. I have 0 0.01 resistance. Okay, so we have something. Right, we have something. So what does that mean? Approximately zero ohms, it's okay. Okay, disconnect control unit connector, check resistance between three and four. Three and four, I bet you is the lamp. Yeah, say three and four is the lamp. Okay, so we know where four was, it was a green wire, so three has got to be right next to it. So let's look at our HUDIS again, connector views. Okay, so three and four, four was going to be this big one, so three is the big one right, right next to it. I got nothing that means my bulb is broken, right? We got 60 ohms, so that's that's good. So that means if I ground that pin, the light should come on, right? This will make sure that we in fact have a working light. Be able to see this. You're able to see this. Can you see this? Come on, you. So, all that's supposed to be right there. So tell me if the light comes on when I ground pin number three.
Uh, yes. It does. It doesn't say anything, but the light does come on. I'm betting this control unit is bad. So, before we go any further, I'm going to go in my parts car. Now I'm going to grab that control unit, assuming it's still there, and see if it works. All right. Got a control unit. Plug her in. See if magic happens. on hey look the light came on let's go test drive this thing and i wonder if we can pull this apart and see if there's anything physically wrong with it let's go test drive see if this thing works now okay i have to change the battery in the gopro let's see Put you there, but you're probably not gonna stay. So this car needs some lovings, lots of freaking lovings. All right. Four. It wouldn't start out in first. Almost right over to the kids. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're definitely in first. Oops, and we're spinning out. Well, this is way better. Oh, 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 so much better. It rides like a normal car. All right, before, when we let off the gas, it would hunt like the torque converter was locking or like was not engaging, right? Let's get up to speed and see if we can duplicate that. seeing that damn tire pressure tire low which that's why we're pulling to the the gas before they would hunt like the rpms would go up and down i've got a video clip of that there's that hunting i was telling you about somewhere i 
conveyor made up for this guy. But now, it drives like normal. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna take apart that ECU and see if there's anything obvious I can. Okay, now it's working. Let's put this thing back together. So we need to put our Hootis protector clip on. Protect our, you know, Hootis connector. between all these wires and get it in the right spot. There we go. Hold on, I gotta go check this out. Okay. So that one goes there. This one goes here. This one goes behind this wire. And then the one we pulled out. There we go. And this one goes on the module that sits behind it. back together now the other car didn't have the fancy wood piece so I don't know where that's at and we have an extra I'm sure that went to the computer or something Okay, well, I hope this helped. I know it wasn't, you know, real in-depth or anything like that, but that'll give you the basics, you know, to see, one, are you getting power to your unit? Two, does your light come on? And if you are getting power, the light doesn't come on, your control unit's probably bad. So, there's that. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. This unit, and I did not find anything that was obviously broken so i looked through the microscope i got a little microscope right here i looked through that and i didn't see any broken solder joints or anything like that so i don't know what's wrong with it